speak too loudly among the uh, history part of it. There's literally nothing in English that's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be quick. But there's some um, there's some nice pieces actually. Yeah. So it was the Winter Olympic of 1972. It was the first time that the Winter Olympics were taking place outside of Europe or America. So first time uh, in Asia. And it was the second time for Japan because Tokyo already had the Summer Olympic in 1964. Yeah, so finger crossed, I'm gonna have them in 2020. But yeah, there's not much. I mean, the title are in English, so yeah, or something. Let's see, you can see the poster for it. Wow, it was a long time ago. It's funny, don't see this kind of ski and blades. Anymore. That's, that looks like a very nice museum actually. So if you if you want to go to the museum and to the chairlift it's 1000 yen which is a bit less than 9 euro. So well it, it's alright. There you can see all the places that I place to place be able to try some of the stuff that's what I'm really excited about. There you have the, the blade of uh, Yuzuri Rainu. I don't know if you're like into figure skating, but uh, it's Japanese, it's like the little prince of Japan. Uh, and he won gold at the. well, in Sochi and in Pyeongchang. And then the guy is a legend. And he's, uh, yeah, I think like he's a hero for Japan. And uh, I really love, I really love him. There you got a lot of uh, equipment that belong to gold or silver or bronze med uh, medalist. Yeah, it's really nice. I don't know them all to be honest. But that's cool, that's cool for Japan. It's very Japanese oriented, but yeah. it's good for the main, main attraction. Leg right now, I don't know if you can see. There's only me, so I'm gonna see if I can do it. It's gonna be fun. I've never been on the bus leg before. I've seen it. Yeah. It's sure, I'm ready. Oh my god. It's gonna be fun. I couldn't find any place to put my camera, so it's empty. So nobody can help me, but I'm ready. Thank you. 
doesn't care well, what I'm doing otherwise I would have died already. I just finished the museum. Um, it's it's actually quite small to be honest. I didn't spend that much time over there, um, but it was fun. It, it was uh, I did like the ski jumping like three times and trying on the bobsleigh and uh, the, the sliding on the speed skating. I mean, it, it, it's fine and and um, with the with the view uh, up to the ski jump. It's, I, I feel like it's a really nice thing to do when, you, when, when you're in Sapporo. Maybe not if you only have one day, but yeah, it, 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 was, uh, it was pretty cool. Just a little bit expensive maybe, maybe a little bit better if there's two or three of you, so you can like compare yourself. Uh, I was trying to beat the high scores, uh, I, I feel. But yeah, it was, it was pretty nice. Now time to go back to the city center.